So um, in general, patients that are candidates for surgery, which means liver resection or liver transplantations, um, are patients that do not have a very advanced tumor disease. Yeah? In Germany and in most countries, I think the Milan criteria are well established for uh, liver transplantation, which means the patients are not allowed to have more than three tumor nodules or one tumor nodule, which is smaller than five centimeters. And if the patients are within these Milan criteria, they are candidates um, for liver transplantation. And here it's really important that with the liver transplantation, we will exchange the complete liver, which means we can also include here patients that have a poor liver function in contrast to all other treatments we use in HTC. So liver transplantation is, a, is independent of the underlying liver cirrhosis because the liver will be replaced. And the only um, point we really have to acknowledge is here that the tumor burden is within Milan so that they can be transpla uh, transplanted. On the other hand, for liver resection, um, it's also recommended for early HTC. I personally think, and this is our experience, it does not really depend so much on the size of the tumor. If possible, um, tumor, there should be no vascular invasion. And what is most important is that the patients do not have a too advanced liver cirrhosis because otherwise they will not recover um, after liver transplantation. So if you think about the numbers, liver transplantation in our center um, so we have treated around 2,000 patients in the last 15 years. And out of these 2,000 patients, um, 200 were transplanted. So it's around 10% of the patients that were in the end really candidates for liver transplantation and that made it to the um, transplantation. So patients with liver cancer often have some degree of liver dysfunction. Uh, so regardless of the size and location of the tumor, a patient's physiology is often the limiting factor for a curative resection. So often things we consider are the child pew status, you know, what's their liver reserve, looking at their bilirubin, uh, their INR, do they have evidence of decompensation such as encephalopathy or ascites, uh, the latter few things being contraindications to surgery. Another very important assessment in regards to their physiology is the presence or absence of portal hypertension. Patients who have had GI bleeding or large varices are not gonna do well with a surgical resection. And often we look at a platelet count as a surrogate for portal hypertension. Uh, I know at my center, patients who have a platelet count less than 100,000 in the setting of cirrhosis are not gonna be candidates for surgery. And that's not because they're at a bleeding risk because of thrombocytopenia but it's because that low platelet count represents portal hypertension, and, and that is someone who won't do well with a resection. For patients who have good liver physiology, then it becomes tumor characteristics. Uh, you know, there is a fair amount of debate about size of tumors for resection. I think most surgeons will feel that if you have invasion into the portal vein that you're not a candidate. Uh, if there's bilobar disease, often they're not candidates. So uh, you really need to have someone who has a lot of experience in managing these patients surgically uh, to assess them for resection. The recurrence rate with resection is very high. Uh, it can be as high as 80%. Uh, really what goes into uh, outcomes is patient selection. Uh, and you know, we can only do our best based on preoperative imaging. Uh, but we know that patients who have macrovascular invasion or patients who have you know, larger the tumor, the more likely a recurrence. Uh, the other thing that surgery has limitations for in, in curing patients with, with hepatocellular carcinoma is the field defect. You know, the cirrhotic liver or the liver that has given rise to uh, liver cancer is at risk for developing other tumors. It's often a multifocal disease. So even though a patient might surgically uh, do very well with resection of a small tumor, that's three centimeters, they're at very high risk of recurrence just of developing a new tumor. So often across the board, uh, we say the recurrence rate is about 50% at two years, and that can often be higher if a patient who is felt to be high risk is taken to surgery.